I just hope they can hang them to the land and uh, I hope they can succeed with all this stuff going on around them. The sun is setting on the traditional Amish way of life in Lancaster County. The millions of tourists who flock here clog farm roads with traffic and destroy Amish peace and privacy. Tourism spurs development, driving up the price of land so the Amish can hardly afford to farm here anymore. Worse, the constant contact with outsiders and the appeal of tourist cash lure Amish young people away from traditional practices and beliefs. To add insult to injury, tourist traps run by outsiders exploit the Amish name for profit, trivializing and commercializing genuine Amish faith and culture. In 25 years, some people think, the Amish of Lancaster County will be no more. Their only remnant may be a few descendants who dress up as Amish to put on a show for tourists. A grim reminder of the loss of a vital piece of our American heritage. What do you think? Uh -huh. Well, the facts are right, but it's depressing. I think we need to end with something a bit more, well, upbeat. A new day is dawning for the Amish of Lancaster County. Tourism has brought unprecedented prosperity to their community. New housing developments provide well-paying construction jobs close to home. For those who prefer to stay on the farm, the millions of dollars tourists spend every year on quilts and crafts provide the extra income to make ends meet. Non-Amish tourist enterprises keep visitors off the back roads and teach them to understand and respect Amish customs. The changing economy of Lancaster County has turned out to be a blessing for the Amish. Their community here is thriving in wealth and in numbers. There is every reason to believe that it will continue to serve as a living reminder of our cherished... Hold it, hold it, hold it. That's no good either. We can't just say this part's good and that part's bad. It's more complicated than that. This is a shot of a non-Amish farm taken from the filmmaker's bedroom window. It doesn't have anything to do with the Amish and tourism. In fact, there's no easy image to express what's happening here. By all the numbers, income, population growth, number of Amish farms, tourism looks like a good thing for the Amish. But beneath the surface, tourism is also fueling profound changes, changes that may be harmful to the Amish community. Of course, the Amish way of life has always changed. The Amish used modern conveniences like indoor plumbing and diesel engines well before the onslaught of tourism. The real danger isn't change itself, but the erosion of the spiritual values that are the foundation of the Amish way of life. Community decision making, simple living, and quiet nonconformity to the rest of the world. Tourism represents a completely different set of values. Self-gratification, accumulation, the pursuit of private pleasures. In the parts of Lancaster County most frequented by tourists, some of these attitudes seem to be rubbing off on some of the Amish. But in the more secluded parts of the county, a strong core of traditional Amish hang on to the values that make them unique. At least for now. How's that? I guess we'll have to live with it. Have you seen a bumper sticker? If tourists are in season, why don't we shoot them? <laughs> of course, I wouldn't really want to do that.